Good morning, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy, Adrian. And today, what I want to do is a comparison between the Apple Watch Ultra, the real Apple Watch Ultra, and a replica Apple Watch Ultra. So we're going to break the video into a couple of parts because I wasn't too sure how to make this video, but the first part will be on physical differences. We'll actually just be looking at the case itself, um, the weight, the basically a little bit of the functions, the buttons, how it looks. That'll be the physical part. Then in the next video, I'll do the software features and a comparison of the software features because I don't want to keep you guys back for long. I want to show you guys what you guys came here for, the differences between the watches. Now, why would I create a video like this? It is because of Facebook. So you boy on Facebook, just browsing, and I saw a lot of, because I was researching the Apple Watch Ultra before I bought it, I saw a lot of businesses in Trinidad selling the Apple Watch Ultra but they had it from between 350 TT to a thousand dollars TT. And I was like, hold up. Because on Apple's official website, the price for the Apple Watch Ultra is 799 US. And if my maths um, serves me correctly, that's 800 multiplied by let's just say seven, that's $5,600. So um, if you get a watch that is less than 5600 plus you have to add tax import duty all of those things if you get a watch that has less than six grand then most likely it's an imitation now i didn't mind because people have to make money businesses have to make money but when i started to see them advertise it as your real apple watch and that's not the bad part the bad part was like customers and people on facebook when one of my friends who has been on iPhone since the iPhone 5S, when he asked if it was real and the story replied, yes, it is real, I was like, bro, how, how could you, how could you actually think it's real? So that's why I wanted to do a comparison of the two. So like I said, the first part of it will be just the physical differences between the Apple Watch Ultra as well as the Apple Watch Ultra replica. Now, I actually got this unit from my trainer, John. Big up to John. Oh, also, guys, big up to RNG Celtic for giving me a really discounted price on this Apple Watch Ultra. Um, thanks again, Robbie. I buy all my tech from him. So the first thing is the weight. Okay, let me just zoom in this a little bit more. Zoom. Okay, good. So we're only one X lens now. Oh, I'm, I'm recording the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So that's this is where the quality is from. I wanted to um, basically take a change from recording on a GoPro 11 or the Samsung S22. So the first thing is, when I saw this, I was like, damn, this looks really, really, really good. Now, I had very poor expectations for this, by the way. Like, guys, no joke. I thought it was like, he paid 350 for this. And I thought for 350, you're not going to get something that remotely close to it. But the thing is, uh, he bought this before I bought uh, my Ultra. And to be honest, when I saw this, I was like, well, just from seeing the pictures on Apple's website, I thought he bought the real thing. So if you want to, like, people who don't know about it could be easily fooled that this is the real thing. Now, again, before I got the real thing, I thought this was the real thing. So in terms of looks, it looks almost identical, but there are some noticeable differences. The first thing is the weight. Now, John was like, bro, get a scale, show them how much it weighs. I, I don't have a scale. I don't even, like, I don't even have one of those cooking scales or anything. But I can tell you guys, this feels about three to four times heavier than this. This feels like aluminum. It feels like almost hollow. Um, it feels much lighter. So this, I will give this points in terms of comfort because I have been like, I have been using this for the last couple of days, like along with this. And because this is so light, you honestly, you do feel it. Like for real, for real, you do feel the, the replica. So this is the replica, the imitation. This is the one for 350 TT. This one is like 7,000 TT. But um, you don't feel the replica. So in terms of comfort, I would actually give win to the replica. All right, so if we look at the side profiles, the real one is thicker than the replica, right? It is thicker, I would say about two millimeters thicker than the replica. So the real one, but the re guys, obviously the reason why the real one is heavier is because it actually has the tech that it promises. 
whereas your replica does not. So even though this is lighter, this may be less useful for you. Now, it does have that orange side button. This one has a more dark crimson orange. This has a more light orange. Now, I mean, I didn't expect this video to go in this direction, but I actually prefer the light orange. It is much more noticeable. It's more visible. It's kind of like those light vests that they have on airplanes, on boats and stuff. So, all right, let me stop bigging up <laughs> the replica. <laughs> on the back now, back is where you have the major major difference the back of all apple watches are usually ceramic so even um have the apple watch 7 and apple watch 8 this is the 7 i think yeah series 7 the back is ceramic and the reason the, the true ceramic ceramic is very difficult to scratch her. So the thing is, with the ceramic backing, you show that these heart rate sensors not gonna get scratched up. And you're probably thinking, bro, what wasting money on ceramic for? Just make it plastic, make it hard plastic or something and just give me it for cheaper. Now, guys, I have every Fitbit out there. I have the Charge 5, um, or just big up to I will too. I bought like I went by them. They, I got some epic cases for the um, iPhone 14. They had some bands for the Charge 5 Fitbit, and I don't have my charge right here. But trust me, the back of the Fitbit is hard plastic, and that thing have so much scratches on it. Like I'm pretty sure that the heart rate monitor is about 10% less accurate because. Of those scratches so the fact that apple chose ceramic that is a good thing that's a big deal that's a, a huge plus for this particular device that means that it's gonna last like forever you're gonna get accurate heart rate readings it's not gonna be impeded by little micro scratches so guys honestly straight up this ceramic back is important now <laughs> what they did i wonder if we could zoom in more what they did, um, I don't know if you guys could see it, is that they took plastic, clear plastic, and they put plastic over plastic. So this is like, um, this is like if you paper in a copy book and you put like brown paper over it, this is the backing of it. And they put a skin, like they literally stick a skin over the back of this watch and it is plastic. So it will scratch her. So whatever heart rate sensors it have now, I'm not even saying that the, the heart rate sensors on this are accurate, but uh, um, but I will say that um, if it gets scratched up, uh, it will be difficult to use. Now, guys, I have had many of the replica smartwatches in the past. Uh, guys asked probably why I buy a replica smartwatch because a lot of those replicas could you could actually put a SIM card in it and make calls. Uh, and my experience with replicas are not good at all. I've never had a problem with. Uh, Never had a problem with Samsung, this is the Watch 4. I never had a problem with Fitbit, never had a problem with Apple. Because why you guys think like you're paying so much money for it? Because they test in it a lot. They're making sure that you have a good battery, a good screen. And those big companies have accountability, right? If something goes wrong, guys, let's say that this, this watch explodes or something. You're going to sue Apple and probably get a good 200 milli from them. Right, if in case you get damaged or burned or something, right? With those Chinese co companies, they have no accountability. You can't find them. They're done closed down. The company that made this watch probably already closed down and changed name for legal purposes. So I've had smartwatches where, like replica smartwatches, where if you charge them, the battery will swell. You charge them, the frame will get hot. You charge them, you touch it, you'll get shock. So I know things are all hard in Trinidad. I know people don't have much money, but I honestly believe that if you buy like if you buy originals or like right now Fitbit has um I think it's the Fitbit Inspire Three, Fitbit Inspire Three and I will they have that for like six hundred dollars, and that is a legit Fitbit. You get access to Fitbit Premium. It have blood oxygen, sleep tracking, body temperature. It have almost the same thing as this for six hundred dollars right it don't have all the features and it's not looking like a bowler watch that made out of titanium but for six hundred dollars you're getting something that will work you're sure you're not gonna dead you're sure you're not gonna blow up when you're sleeping and set the bed on fire so the thing is i always recommend going um original now i'm not saying that this is 
a right author because if I didn't have the cash for this, uh, but I wanted to kind of like flex, I would probably buy this because guys, I, right, who have every Apple product, including the two latest MacBooks, uh, like a body MacBook M2 Pro and a MacBook M2 Air, I could not tell the difference in this because I didn't do the research. And I was like, John, upgrade, getting on like a boss. So notice that we have the so speaker. So this is for any um, game calls via Bluetooth. Now, John said he tried it with his phone, but he was not able to get through. He wasn't able to make or receive a call with it. So paired up via Bluetooth with his phone. This is a scroll wheel. You have a satisfying slow scroll here, but this is a kind of clicky scroll. So I, I did like the clickiness at first, but when you have to make micro adjustments, is is horrible. It's too much clicks. So you have this satisfying button. You have this button. They have about the same press feel, right? So like I said, the back in this one is ceramic. The back in this one is plastic. The side on this is a kind of silver coated plastic as well that's the reason why it feels so light now what they did is they did a really good clone of this um this watch face so this is a new watch face that comes exclusively with the apple watch ultra however when you turn this on me and oh just now password is zero 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 when you turn it uh, you just switch between their preset watch faces right so However, with the advent with the Wayfarer, I think it's a Wayfarer watch face, when you turn it, you go to tactical mode. So normal mode, tactical mode, because red is much less harsh on the eyes. So if you're hunting, um, if you're doing anything at night and you don't want to get blinded by all these colorful complications, yes, turn the button, you go to tactical. Right? So another thing too is when you press this one, you could set it for whatever you want. So in my case, I actually press it and the flashlight will turn on, press it, the flashlight will turn off, press and hold, a siren, a 86 decibel siren will start to alarm. You guys could hear that. And it is a real 86 decibel siren. In this case, when you press it, it will actually just start a workout. Oh, shucks, my bad, zero, 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 zero. It will actually just give you which workouts they have. And some of you guys might know that the software in this is actually the software that's a lot of cheap smart oh, guys notice turn not actually working to go down it just works as a single press itself now one thing um john was telling me was that the gap here is huge so the the fact that this gap here is huge it means water can actually go through there now i did not i did not test it on the water because again borrowed it don't want to use this one and destroy it this one, it is sealed completely. There is no gap there at all. But again, guys, you guys have to feel this weight to feel this difference. This is like a tank compared to this, right? But again, they have the buttons. Oh, one thing I wanted, um, John wanted me to mention was this, the bands, right? So, guys, just by the way, this watch face I have, this watch band I have, this is a UAG um, Urban Armor Gear band. I have this band for over four years now. I bought this from a boy, Daryl Blandin. He owns a company called Blantec. They have original cell phone cases. And you guys can see how beat up this is. And whenever it gets dirty, throw it in your washing machine, wash it, and you're good to go. So I have this four years and I'm still using it. This is the band that it came with, but this band actually has a bit of a flaw in that when you try to take it off, if the band is too tight for your hand, the top of it, this hits the titanium at the top and could potentially scratch it because titanium and titanium it will scratch so actually don't use this even though and plus guys if you use orange you're just kind of making yourself a target this is trend ad somebody will take it from you so what john wanted me to mention was this from his use of it he noticed something which is could be a deal breaker for a lot actually sorry this is a deal breaker for the majority of people if you're going to use this as a fitness watch room and let's say you're going to use it to, why is b-mobile sending me so much text messages i hope this does not kill my audio at all <laughs> but um if you are going to use this for sports what is the most important thing if you just drop 350 tt dollars on this 
you want to make sure that it remains on your hand. You don't want this thing falling out and then some piper by the side of the road go and pick it up and trade it in for a bottle of punching. You want to make sure it stays on your hand. Now, let's look at two things here. If we look, ooh, let me try to zoom in. Okay. If we look at the original Apple Watch, let me see if I get a pointer. I'll use this cross pen refill. So we have the serial number, but we also have a little notch. That notch is very important. Now, what Apple does is their bands are quick release. So you slide the band in, it will lock in that notch, lock, solid locker. Let me show you guys what I mean by that. So I actually have to head out in a bit. I am so late today. So you guys notice it has that little raised piece and we just slide it through there and that is locked, right? That not moving. I could use a real force on this and that not moving, like that will never move. <laughs> I butcher the band, but a part of the camouflage band at the top and the rest of the camo, I have it on another watch, a backup watch. Notice that notch was there so that it's not going to slide out. But guys, watch, there is no notch. It looked like somebody scraped the inside there and it looked like somebody scraped the inside there as well, right? So the thing is, there is no notch. So what does that mean? If you buy this watch, a replica Apple watch, this slides in and this is held. Oops, let me see if I could go out a little bit. This is held with just a friction fit. You just have to leave this here and hope that it doesn't wiggle out. And honestly, for me, if I knew that, like, well, I didn't buy this watch though, but if um, John knew that, that would have been a deal breaker. Now, this band is actually pretty cool though. Like, this band looks legit. And I wonder if it will actually work with the original Apple Watch. But yeah, this band looks legit. But uh, again, like I said, there is no notch inside there. There is nothing inside there to prevent this band from coming out. So you're running on your track, you're in Skinner's Park taking a jog, you're in Palmer's Park taking a jog, and it slide, it slide. So, oh, and guys, this is with it dry, right? Sweat gets inside there. Sweat will lubricate that. And then all of a sudden, slide, 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 boop, fall off your hand. And all it takes is one side to fall off. And that is it. Now, John also bought some other bands. We have this band. Um, but the thing is, I look at any time, I wouldn't have enough time to actually go through all of them. So let me just show you guys super quick some of the features the replica has. So replica, if you press this, you get to all the apps. Now, if you look at it, it is choppy because obviously it doesn't have that screen that Apple has. Whereas if you look at the actual Apple Watch, it is, you press the same button, it is fluid. I could move this around really fast and nothing will happen. Even though I loaded this up with tons of, tons of like really dotish apps. Why is it? And also for security, it always auto locks. Yes, I have um, a Digicel eSIM in the iPhone as well. So I have a B-Mobile and an eSIM, which is super cool. Guys, honestly, if you have to buy Apple Watch, just uh, Apple Watch Ultra, just, just buy it for this. Seriously, just, just buy it for this. Like, honestly, like, this is the best thing. <laughs> Pong and Nintendo games on your watch. What more could any tech nerd want than this? I mean, this is the realest when it comes to tech nerd technology. It has another game that I'm totally addicted to, but um, again, I wouldn't have time to show you guys it. So yeah, okay, um, enough about that. So you guys see how fluid the screen is um, as compared to the other one. The other one is not um, fluid at all. Now, one thing I wanted to test is actually SpO2. So SpO2 is a measure of blood oxygen and recently SpO2 has become super important because of the pandemic. Why? Because um, SpO2, okay, so your blood in your veins, right? I um, can't believe I just said that. Uh, kind of obvious. Um, your blood in your car. Um, your blood in your veins could hold a certain amount of oxygen. The maximum amount is 100%. And if you get a respiratory illness, like say COVID, or you're unwell, your blood will hold less oxygen because you'll be getting less oxygen from your lungs. 
So what happens is that uh, knowing what your blood oxygen level is, especially in like COVID years, like how it is now, is really, really, really important. Uh, a lot of these replica watches, they don't do a good job. They have fake sensors in them and they claim to do all sorts of stuff. Like guys, you have no idea how vexed I was when I saw like three, four years ago, watches were coming out with blood pressure monitors. Dog, they do have that technology doesn't exist. That's like some of these watches like coming out and saying, or oh, um, it could teleport KFC for you and bring it here. So a few years ago, when I saw they were bringing out blood pressure monitors, that was complete BS. Samsung invested over a billion dollars in a blue laser um, blood pressure monitor in the Note 9 series, and it was an absolute failure. And then um, Samsung, again, they came out with um, a blood pressure monitor in the Watch 4, which was last year, right? And the kind of is, is just a gimmick. It's not even unlocked in origin. So for three years ago, for these watches to say that, that was just blatant, blatant, blatant lies. Like, what does watch feel it is? A politician? Like, bro. <laughs> so let's do a test, right? So I have, um, oh, I have, this is an Innovo, one of the best, most expensive blood um, SPO2 monitors they have out there. And let me just put this Apple Watch on my wrist, and we'll do a test. And again, guys, this is just off the cuff. This is just like completely, completely random. It might show a good figure. It might not show a good figure, but we will see what it shows and let's see how accurate it is. Now guys, don't, this is not any medical advice. This is me just testing products for fun because, well, boredom. All right, so let's put this on and it will give us a real time SPO2 read. Okay, good, so we have that. This is, and again, this is how much blood oxygen. So at the moment, it says my pulse is 104 and the SPO2 reading is 98, all right? So let's see what the Apple Watch says. So 98, three, two, one, 95. Okay, that, that is, um, that is a, a, a kind of big difference though. <laughs> um, let, okay, let's try again. Again, the hospital grade SPO2 monitor. And again, guys, that just, oh, okay, okay, okay. I think my finger was improperly placed in it. Still says 98, which is good. I'd be healthy. 96. This is another example of why even if you have the best smartwatch, you just don't completely trust it. Remember, these companies, oh, PR is 1.4 at the top. That means your reading is not good. The reading supposed to be like eight point something. All right, let's see if we could get better reading on the next finger. It's one point. <laughs> Why is this reading so horrible? Okay, it went up to two. It went up to two point two. Oh, I'm looking at this number by the way, guys. Let's try a different hand. All right, and let's just do one more reading on the Apple Watch. Yay, so you guys see I don't have COVID. Yeah, boy. I have no idea why this video went on so long. I thought this video would probably be like a 10 minute video max. We're in 23 minutes, so. Okay, so you guys see 98, 98. Yeah, I, I think by using my left hand, it was not the best idea. Okay, so 98, 98. So. And again, guys, you whenever you have to monitor something, use actual scientific tools. Um, don't use replica watches. Don't use smart watches. Or just have a, something to verify it. Okay, that is one. Now, to get this, uh, let me fling a band on this. Actually, let's check out this band. This is one of the bands that uh, John actually bought, uh, my trainer bought separately. Don't want to buzz it. So this is supposed to be one of the sports looper bands. This is not bad. It is nylon. It feels solid. The ends are, oh, uh, the ends are plastic. You, 
Um, in almost all things made for Apple, so this is a Spigen, um classy stainless steel black PVD coated band. The ends are metal. This is a UAG band. Guys, just one thing. If you guys buy the original official Apple Watch, Apple, they went crazy with prices of the um, bands, by the way. Like, I don't know what's wrong with them, but bands for this, for this watch, the bands, the official bands start at about 100 US. Guys, that is the price of a Samsung Galaxy E3 Core in RNG Celteco. This band isn't even fitting. What the hell? Um, Houston, we have a problem. Okay, good. Got it in on one side. And again, because there is no... Um, because there is... Whoa, camera, don't fall. Because there is no things to click it in place. So again, guys, watch this. Can you imagine you going to jog with this? Bro, I know my boy Abdel... Shout out to Abdel. Um, he has our original. But, bro, imagine if the original come like this now. Horse. Nah. <laughs> what should I be lost? The day that we buy it. Alright, so let me just put this on. And then afterwards, um. But, I mean, guys, the band. Guys, you hear that? I was put. Whoa. I was putting it on. And the band fall off. <laughs> Moral of the story. Um, if you buy the replica. Take crazy glue, take, uh, it fall off again, hold on, take crazy glue and stick it, because you don't want to lose your watch just because of stupidity. Now, you might not be able to change it, right? We understand that, but at least your watch is not going to fall out and the pipe are not going to get your watch. You know, I should make this a live stream instead. So, okay, get feedback from you guys. Okay. Apple Watch replica. Again, guys, I don't want to big up this watch too much because I know a lot of you guys just do whatever I say with regards to buying stuff. I don't want to big it up, but honestly, this watch is looking hot. This is a 350 replica, and for $350, as compared to like $7,000, you get the look, you know. You get the look. You get the look. And people who do know about Apple, they will not know that this is a replica. And they have probably like 60% of the features. So if I couldn't afford the replica, if, sorry, if I couldn't afford the original, I, I would have rocked this. I would have rocked this. Like, guys, this is still mad. Still mad. But no, ah, I don't want to big this up too much because we don't know nothing about um, potential battery life. Um, well, actually, we do know that battery life is relatively good. John gave me this watch about a week ago, and I was supposed to do this video, and I did not. So. And um, uh, the battery life was, it, it was still working, it was still on when I put it to charge this morning. So it lasts over a week without any use. Okay, let's do it. Come on. ISPO2, where be? All right, blood oxygen. It is measuring. It is giving us that beautiful measuring screen. So you guys should look at the medical hospital grade Innovo SPO2 monitor. <laughs> Wait, Jared, I'm at 98. I recently um, discovered this channel. Um, what is his name? This Asian dude. Um, Uncle Roger. I, I, could, I could actually hear Uncle Roger saying, Why you get 98 for? You're supposed to get 100 in your exam. Oh, guys, it's super important when you're um, measuring SPO2 to remain absolutely still. <laughs> oh, guys, I got this when it claimed that it was measuring um, temperature as well. It just continued to, like, fluctuate. But... So, 99, is it? Yeah, I think the algorithm... Ooh, it settled at 99? <laughs> there you see it guys I actually got and again guys this is unbiased um, I didn't edit any video you guys saw this is one take uh, we actually got um, <clears throat> a more accurate reading the first time from the replica let's do it one more time uno momento alright the ultimate test will be the heart rate now the thing is 
it's really easy to fake blood oxygen because everybody blood oxygen should be between 95 to 100. If not, you should go and see the, the doctor like immediately. But they can't fake heart rate of a guy who drank two cans of Monster before right now. Heart rate is 100. <laughs> so, oh and guys, I think I'm still banned on Facebook, so I'll upload this on InstaFace. I'm so late. It is 10.54 and I have acupuncture at 11. I'm sorry. Okay, good. So it is. it still has that really consistent reading. Okay, good. Guys, if the heart rate is similar, then I will give this watch a, a kind of blight. It claims temperature, but I held out that it actually has um a temperature, an actual weekend temperature sensor in it. Yo, heart rate. Okay, good. They can't fake this. Normal people, <laughs> heart rate supposed to be like 60 to 70. If they get this correct, I'll give this watch a blight. And I'll give it a passing grade. Hey, but the, the heart rate measuring screen is pretty though. Like, no joke. It looks like there was like, um, yeah, 2,000 amps. <laughs> guys, guys, this watch is bullshit. The sensor is fake. Completely fake. Completely fake. You guys could see it blinking here. 103. 103. Yeah, guys, this watch, nah, bro. This watch is 0 to 10. That's fake. My heart, so if you look on the pulse oximeter, my heart rate is 103 beats per minute. That is true, because I drank two kinds of monster energy. My heart rate can't be normal people, 75 beats per minute. So guys, we busted it. This watch is absolutely fake. This watch can do nothing. So it says 105, right? 104. So just to give you guys a point of reference, right? I'm going to turn on the Samsung watch, and I'll show you guys... Turn on the Samsung watch, turn on the Series 7, and let's do this. Alright, so, heart rate, Oh, we have to actually go in the app. So we're just right. So Paul's oximeter says Apple Watch says a hundred. Pulse oximeter. Okay, so Apple Watch says one oh four. Pulse oximeter says one oh four. You guys see how accurate that is, right? Um, that's why you're paying for accuracy. So one oh four. Imitation Apple Watch says 75. That's complete bullshit, guys. That's fake EF. Do not buy that watch. The thing is, you guys will buy a watch, and if you have a real medical condition, it will make you feel that you have, that you normal. It will make you feel like your blood pressure normal, like your temperature normal, and this time you actually really need to see a doctor. That is life on that shit right there. You don't want to mess with that. All right, so that's Apple Watch. Let me test it with Galaxy Watch 446mm Classic. Now, this watch is from Diamond Systems. Big up to Diamond Systems, also known as tech to go They have some real cool stuff. Diamond Systems, Allah Street Laramine. All right, so Pulse Oximeter says 106. Pulse Oximeter says 101. I think Samsung is in some trouble because... The bands it was a bit tight. I'm gonna press that down a little bit. Oh come on, Samsung. Even Fitbit could do better than this dog. Even Fitbit could do better than this dog. Fitbit would have done give me pulse already. Samsung, you losing to Fitbit? Bruh. Bruh, no. Don't lose Samsung. Too much of my friends are Samsung's. Really just going to hibernation mode. Come on, just one one read. <laughs> yeah, guys, I Samsung was real good when it was rocking the Tizen operating system. And then for this watcher, they decided to go with Google Wear. 
All right, so guys, 103, 103 on the pulse oximeter. 100% correct. 100%. The own, like, boil cone. The own. Like, the Samsung moving like bad man, okay, so, like, straight up. So Samsung say 104, 105. Pulse oximeter saying 108, 107. So Samsung and medical grade pulse oximeter in sync like a boss. Now we look at the watch, the replica for 350. But then again, guys, you know, you kind of get what you pay for. 68, dog, as an Olympic athlete, according to this replica Apple, replica Apple watch. And again, guys, it will give you a, fel a full, okay, and let's try on um, Series 7, Apple Boy. So, pulse oximeter says 105. <laughs> I didn't use this watch 7 since I got the Ultra and the 8, right? So, um, what? What? Okay. So, pulse oximeter says 99. Um, imitation watch says 72. Apple Watch says, okay, 103, notice, 106 on pulse oximeter, 103 on heart rate monitor, 104. So guys, y'all see, this is why you don't buy it. All right, so, final thoughts. Oh, this watch is terribly. Okay, so, final thoughts, final verdict on the Apple Watch Ultra Replica. Is it worth it if you want it for style, if you want it for looks, if you want it to, because you love that rugged look of the Apple Watcher? Yes. Yes, definitely yes. Definitely yes. This watch is hot. I prefer the orange. I prefer the lightweighted. The screen not that bad. It's a nice replica. Um, the band defect is kind of sucky, but you can live with that with some crazy glue. All right, so. If you want it for looks, yes. If it was me when I was in university and I was living on cup, cup soup and I had no money, yes, I'll buy it. If you want it for health, zero, no, absolutely not. This thing not gonna give you nothing, no real values. It's not gonna give you a real heart rate reading, it's not, give you, it's not gonna give you a real SPO2 reading, it's not gonna give you a real um, temperature reading, it's not gonna give you a real blood pressure reading, because that's not a thing. The only smartwatch that can actually give you a blood pressure reading is one made by a brand called Omron, and that's a thousand US. That's more than the actual Apple Watch. So if you want it for health, uh-uh, nah. Go wherever, Starlight, where I bought this one, um, buy this for train drillers, you're good to go. This will give you blood pressure. This will give you um, SpO2, this will give you heart rate, this will give you everything. You wouldn't be able to wear it when you're exercising, but at least you know this is accurate, right? So looks, yes. Um, durability, no. Health, no. Battery endurance, yes. Um, flex purposes, yes. Um, and like, if you don't wanna wear something too expensive, if you go into, if you want a timepiece that is a little bit more advanced, um, is that WeChat? Oh well, anyway, it's, it's China, so. Um, let me see, it's just settings, bedside clock, screen. Yeah, so if you want like a fancy smartwatch, if you want a smartwatch that, oh, let's just go through the clock faces quick. I love this one. This is actually really similar to those old school Casio. This is nice, nice. Apple watch. Again, Apple moon clock. <laughs> this is a Samsung watch face, dog. Hey, anyway, you can only get that in the Chinese clones. Wait, that's it? Bruh, bruh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. All right, I guess you have one for every day of the week, though. So, well, why not? Um, just check calculator. All right, cool. Well, yeah, if you want a basic smartwatch, yes, but into this, this watch face better, like, honestly, like. I would wear this. I would rock this. I like this. Please download the app. But yeah, so 
if you expect this to like be a lifesaver absolutely no but if you want a watch that is kind of smart um and a watch that um like i said kind of smart and a watch that um will last long a watch that is light is comfy just remember guys please crazy glue that band you don't want to lose your watch um for no reason anyhow guys this video is way longer than i thought it would um i don't even think this will upload to facebook so anyhow guys take care peace out if you have any questions message me directly peace